Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and last year I was a substitute teacher and this year I am a reading teacher, reading tutor is what they call it, but technically I'm a reading teacher. So I wanted to update you guys kind of on where I've been, what I've been up to and all sorts of things like that. So let's get into the video. Okay, so don't think I've forgotten about you guys. I promise I haven't. I have just been in a role where filming just isn't necessarily a thing that I really have time to do right now. Um, so let me go into a little bit of backstory. I wanna talk about this really quick because I have some exciting news for you guys. Um, but basically, where I've been is in this tutor job and the reason I applied for it was because one of you guys suggested to kind of look into different programs or different jobs that weren't just teaching related and I took your advice. I said, you know what, maybe there's something else more exciting or awesome out there and I want to explore that too. So I applied to this job, I ended up getting it. It's not exactly <clears throat> for the level in the schooling that I went through to get there but I think my goodness my hair <laughs> um, I think it's been really awesome I definitely wish I was making more money and all that kind of stuff but I got called in for my first sub job at this school so they're kind of using me as a backup list in case any subs call in late last minute and cancel on them they have me as a backup to fill in so i filmed a little bit of my subbing day for you guys so i wanted to include that right now i got called in to sub today and the kids will be here in one minute all right i was so excited that i get to sub today it's been a long time and it's a really exciting feeling Look at you guys, pretty impressed. Have all your work done, nice job. Would it have a staring contest? Uh, I'd probably lose. It's been fun because this is at the school I work at as a tutor, so it's been a really great experience getting to meet and get to know some of the kids and the teacher's routine as well. Alright, I finally got everything kind of picked up. You can see that's my whole stack right there of papers and stuff. So there was a lot and I just had to put it in a pile because it was driving me insane. The class is kind of a mess right now. It's kind of crazy. And um, they are at art right now, so I'll be picking them up. We'll be doing some math. And then um, they're going to have some free time, and then it's time for me to go. So, crazy. Hi, guys. So, I am subbing again today. I am in three different classrooms because the teachers are having a training day. <coughs> So right now I'm in a first grade classroom and we're doing a couple of things like CBCE and long A stuff with poems. <clears throat> um, here's the little thing that they are going to give out to the kids, a refrigerator coffee. And then they're reading this book and then we're gonna look at the character and do some character analysis of <coughs> Bruce on the inside and the outside so it should be so far a fun morning and I'm very excited to be subbing again yay Okay. 
called this changes to what? Yeah, that was just a little bit of fun. I kind of wanted to bring back some of that subbing that I had been doing before. It was a crazy hectic day though. I got called in while I was still getting ready in the morning and I had to quickly just throw a lunch together and hurry to school because that's what I had to do. And it was a pretty crazy morning, but I was really happy and the kids who I work with and I see at lunch and things like that were so excited to see me and the next day they were just waving, 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 Miss Riley, Miss Riley. So they were super happy and that just filled my heart with joy to see them so excited and happy to see me the day after I subbed in their class. So that's the really fun part about doing this as opposed to being a sub this year is I'm really a part of the school culture and I'm a valued member of the staff at my school and it's just a really cool feeling to have that because I wasn't getting that ever as a sub. I wasn't really like a valued member of the school and so being in this tutor or reading teacher position I actually really am and I plan to make another video really talking about this tutor position and kind of what I'm thinking going forward because what I found out is that I only have a one through six teaching license and basically if I want to get any job here in Minnesota I have to go back for my kindergarten license to add and have it be K through six because most schools most elementary schools here in Minnesota are K through five so basically they're saying they're gonna filter me out unless I somehow whatever not somehow but unless I get this kindergarten license they really won't be looking at my application so I'm gonna really start making those decisions later on but I want to tell you guys in my next video really a lot more about what I'm planning to do in the future so um, I also had a question a comment someone made and they said how is the job search going to be honest I have a full-time job I am at this tutor position I am going to start a before school program for an hour, basically doing the same thing, but more intense for some students. And then I'm also nannying. I nanny two times a week, as well as a family that I do two times out of the month. And it really keeps me busy. Um, I'm working at the school every single day. I'm nannying twice a week and then, um, Every other Friday, basically, I am at a family's house babysitting. So I am keeping myself really busy. It's not the traditional sense of being a teacher, but I am actually really happy. And I think this is a pretty good route so far that I've been taking. But obviously, doing something more and actually making use of my degree would be really nice. So... On the, on the other side of things, um, that's kind of where I'm at. I know it's not super exciting after seeing all my adventures last year, but I guess that's just the reality of where I'm at. And unfortunately, it's not great, but it's the reality. And I am actually really happy. And I love the people that I work with. I really love my job. And I'm just overjoyed with the position that I found. I'd really like to show you guys more, but it's just we're going, going, going every single day, every hour of the day, and there's not a whole lot of time to film. So I'm going to try to make it more of an effort, but I really wanted to tell you guys, and if this turns you off from my channel, I'm so sorry, but like this is the reality of what's going on in my life. I can't magically give myself a teaching job. Big 
big news. I got engaged. Eee! And um, I'm so happy. I love my fiance. And I really wanted to bring this to you guys if you are interested in watching some of the journey of me preparing to get married. Um, I really want to take you guys along. So we are going to go see a venue tomorrow actually and then hopefully two more this coming weekend. Um, we're planning to get married in um, like 2020 so that gives us a little bit of time about a year and a half to prepare which I know is a long time in terms of like you guys watching but I just really wanted to bring you guys along if you're interested in sticking around there's good things to come but right now I'm kind of at a standstill with where I'm at in my job with teaching so, and even though I love it, um, it's just not the best for filming for you guys, but I really wanted to bring you along this wedding journey and um, I hope you guys are interested with more of these life events and um, I really, I don't know, I just hope you guys are interested um, and if that turns you off and you're here for the teaching, then, you know, maybe tune in when I talk more about some of the teaching stuff, but I really, really, really want to bring you guys along. I love seeing your comments and I hope that you guys are excited for this next chapter in my life. Hopefully the career chapter will open another chapter or the career book will open another chapter soon, but the life book has opened a new chapter and I'm super excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. Um, and then I also wanted to let you guys know I do have a second channel where I've posted different videos about my travels. Like I've gone to Australia. I went on a road trip with my soon-to-be husband um, last year. And I plan to post other trip videos. Like we've gone to Hawaii. We've gone on a cruise to the Bahamas. And I'm planning to post those as well as some fitness videos, um, you know, especially as you're preparing to get married. I think it's good to start being more fit and just being excited for the things to come. So if you guys are interested, I'll just kind of post that in the link below or as a link below. If you guys want to check those things out. You definitely don't have to, but um, I just wanted to give you guys that opportunity because you guys are awesome and I really appreciate all of your support. And if you're interested in following more of my life, then you certainly can. Otherwise, I will try to be making some kind of teaching or teacher-esque video over the next few months. Um, I'm planning to probably post a video like every two weeks um, and then obviously when the wedding stuff comes out I'll be posting that as soon as I can. Um, I'm really excited to share this stuff with you guys and I hope you're excited too. So that's just kind of where I've been. My next video I'm planning to talk about the next steps that I'm thinking about taking and kind of what that means for my career and for this channel going forward. And then probably the next video is going to be talking about the different venues that we're visiting and our budget and all of that stuff and kind of the next steps to take once you are engaged and just putting all that fun stuff together if that's what you guys are interested in. So please let me know um, if you are interested. I hope you are and I hope you're excited. I'm obviously overjoyed and yeah, so I hope you guys are excited. And I will talk to you in the next one when I talk about what's going to happen next for my career. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!